everyone, I hope you are doing well. And here I am on my e-bike again. I'm uh, preparing to leave uh, this place where I just had uh, lunch with my uh, with my uncle-in-law. And um, I will be on my way. I will show you a little bit around. And at the same time, uh, today um, I will discuss with you, is it difficult to find a job in China? So this is the question I was asked, uh, in fact, by uh, by a French guy. Let me show you this building first. Um, these buildings um, are really nice, in fact, because they are not too high. And I think they are, they are, they are in fact, they must be at least 15 years old. But this kind of, at least 15 years old. I think nowadays you don't find any more uh, places like this. And it's a pity, because you see there, is, um, there are some trees, there are some uh, space between the buildings. And the buildings are not so... Are not so high, so it's. I think it's a good investment. This kind of place. I wish I could buy a, an apartment like this, and but I think nowadays you cannot find this kind of building anymore, except uh, in really secondary in the countryside. You would find this uh, apartment building like this. So anyway, is it uh, difficult to find a job in China? So in many um, countries it's now the crisis. You don't have any job, and um, I have been. Um, I see myself as a victim. <laughs> As the victim of our government and as a victim of this of the growth model um, let me tell you why i studied a lot and it was not easy i have a master degree in law and i have an mba i can speak several languages english french german uh, and a little bit chinese and um, when when i graduate i couldn't find any work i couldn't find any job because that's how things are um, there was the crisis and uh, the competition. So in France, we are a country of immigration. So there will be on one side the government um, will allow a lot of immigration, and even um, they will promote French and the French language. And on the other side, you have people like me who have many degrees, and in fact, not only people like me, even people who didn't. Uh, uh, go to school or even people who don't have so much education and they we won't be able to find any job and when you can find a job it will be a, a bad job with a low salary and quite often it will be just a, um, a one-year contract or you the company can hand your contract at any time the salary won't be so high and you will be uh, under a lot of pressure so I didn't want this I didn't want this <laughs> I didn't want this and therefore um, I came to China at some point. I'd been to China first, and then I only my when when I came back from China. But I think you know all this. Um, I was thinking with my experience, uh, with my skills, it will be so easy for me to find a job. In fact, it took me about one year. I sent about 500 CV to many companies. I always had the same answer. I had about three interviews. But I'm not the only one in that case. I think uh, so many young people in France, they are the same. Uh, they cannot find a job. And if they find a job, it's a job they don't like. Uh, that uh, brings them a lot of pressure and a little salary. Uh, the salary um, that they give you, uh, with this kind of salary, you are not able to make a living. You are not able to uh, to pay the cost if you want a kid. You are not able to buy an apartment. You are not able to buy a car. You are able to do nothing and you will get a credit for your whole life. Now, I'm not saying it's any better in China. I think for many Chinese people, it's the same. But I am talking to you as a foreigner, as a foreigner working in China and living in China. So is it easy first to find a job as a foreigner? So. Um, the answer is, first, it depends who you are. It depends on your nationality. If you are a native English speaker, you can always work and teach English. And in this, with this kind of job, if you are a native English speaker, you will be able to earn a decent salary. You will be able to make 10,000 at least, and I think more. If you uh, who can work at the university and then you find some private school, you will be able to work and make maybe uh, 15,000 a month. Uh, I know several uh, native uh, English speakers who uh, are able to make at least 15,000 a month and sometimes 20,000 a month. And this guy, if when they have been here for some years, they are also able to find some summer camp during the summer. 
I mean, they go back home to England or to the uh, uh, to the UK or to the, to, to, to the USA or to Australia, and they teach migrants. Uh, they teach uh, French people who come here uh, during summer, French kids who come here during summer to practice their English, and this way they can make way more money. Um, so if you are a native English speaker here, it's the good deal, you know, because you can work uh, and teach English and even you don't have any degree, you can still find a job. And with a salary of 10,000 plus um, no rent to pay and no plane ticket to pay, uh, you are able to save. You are able to save, you are able to make a living, you are able to have a kid, you are you are able to make a good living. You can save, pay, pay, pay the life insurance um, for when you get older. So this is uh, this is really nice. Now, if you are um, if you are a non-native English speaker, if you are another from another nationality, European national uh, or African, then it's more. Much, let's talk about European nationals first. European nationals, it will be much more difficult for you. Uh, because there are not so many jobs uh, available out there. Of course, there is less competition, but the point is there is not so many jobs and the salary is lower. If you teach French, if you teach German, if you teach Italian, yes, you might be able to find some work, but since in China, when you work, uh, you, are, you are only have a one-year contract, then uh, you never know. After, you might need to look for a new job. And since there are very few jobs available to teach Italian, there are not so many jobs available, you might have to move from another city to another city, uh, to different places in China. And this might not be convenient. If you have a family, if you have a wife, you need to stay in one place for a job, for a family, for your family. And you might not be able to do this because you, you, they don't have any, so many jobs uh, available. Uh, for instance, if you are teaching French here in Changsha, how many jobs do you have? Like eight, eight position or nine position, eight position maximum. Then if I, if, uh, let's take with me, if I am working as a French teacher, if I, if they don't renew my contract, I will need to, to be lucky. If I'm lucky enough, I can get another of these eight jobs and it will be fine. If I'm not lucky, I will need to move somewhere else. And my wife would have to follow me or I would need uh, to come back during the weekends. It's not that easy. Um, now, as regarding the, to the salary, it's also not very high. You, you can expect maybe 5,000, 7,000, and that's probably not enough to make a living, okay? So, um, yes, you can find some job if you are a non-native English speaker, but it's not that easy. Now you have all the rest, all the other jobs, working for um, a big company or working for a company. This is also not easy. It depends where you are. If you are staying in some of the main Chinese cities, yes, there are some opportunities, there are some possibilities to work for foreign companies. But you need the specific profile. Now, I cannot tell you so much about this. I think many companies, they will look for technical people, foreigners who have skills in computing, foreigners who have skills in engineering, foreigners who have skills and maybe experience uh, in, in some specific field. You also have many jobs here in Changsha. I see some people now, they're working in the uh, foreigners work for the hospital uh, because this is good for the company uh, they are looking for the skills and they are looking for the foreign face because it gives face to the um, to the hospital it gives face to the company if customers know there is a foreigner working there it's more likely that they will come here and uh, and uh, buy the product or uh, buy the service of this place so yes there are uh, quite a few jobs available uh, especially in bigger cities in shanghai in Beijing in Shenzhen, but even in city like where I am staying, second tier city, capital province, uh, capital of different province, now in uh, Changsha, even there, you can still, uh, you can still um, uh, find some jobs, but uh, then you have to have a more, st more technical background, maybe a job as an engineer, a job as a, as, a, as a doctor, you know, and the salary will be nice, will be, uh, it will be, I think, a, a better salary than, uh, it will be a good salary, sufficient. But it's mainly in bigger city, like if you work in... Uh, look, this is the school, this is the local school. So the, so I, I hope I was clear enough. And now, um, what else? I, I didn't tell you about the last nationalities. This is the guy who are uh, colored people, colored people. This is also about, you know, finding a job is also about how you are, how you appear. There are many stereotypes in China. As... Um, as a European, if you are white, then you have uh, more possibilities than if you are black, you know. There's not, there are several things to consider. Your nationality, of course, if you are teaching English, your uh, skills and education, 
Are you, can you work as engineer? Can you work in the hospital? And then, and then of course, uh, your your uh, your um, <laughs> sorry. And then, of course, your skin color and your image. You know the image that you have. So it's not only the nationality. If you are black, it will be more difficult. If you are African and black, it will be more difficult. And this, the, uh, and it's not only for teaching. It's for everything, because uh, it's about the perception of the customers. You know, customers maybe. Uh, uh, customers, is she saying this? Customers maybe um, want to buy from a white guy, or th or will trust this hospital because uh, because the because the, they have some white doctors, you know, or they will trust this school because they has a white uh, American national, or uh, you know, this is just how it is. Um, so now there's one last thing that I would like to suggest to tell you. It's about opening a company here in China. So of course, they are here in China, there are many opportunities to open companies. Why is that? Because you don't need a high initial investment. It's not so expensive to open a company. You see, uh, in France, it's impossible. In many countries, it's impossible. You need so much money to open the company, and then you need the, the good idea, and that's really not easy. Uh, except you have uh, you have a very uh, good skill in some uh, in some field and you, you really get the good idea but it's not easy here in china as i always tell you in my video and show you there are so many things you can do you can open a school you can open a restaurant you can um, i don't know like uh, you can sell some wine you can sell uh, you can be a musician and uh, you can be in the acting field you know you have so many things you can do you, you and um, this is not for chinese people maybe it's not the case anymore because they also need the, in the investment and it's not cheap uh, but as a foreigner again i'm only talking to you as a foreigner there are so many things you can do you can also work between your own country and this country recently i met a korean guy and i asked him why are you here in china what are you doing he told me you know in korea it's impossible i cannot find a job and i cannot open a company the initial investment is so high i cannot do this it's impossible but here uh, but here in um, in China, this is possible. So that's why I came to China and say, well, and he gets the he gets a one year visa, but he needs to go back uh, in his home country four times a year because uh, he needs to go outside of China four times a year. So he's, he's explained. I think every three months. And anyway, this guy, um, I asked him, uh, and he told me, oh, but it's not. It's okay. It's cheap. It's cheap. It only costs 3,000 yuan to go back. So I realized he was making really good money. And he just has his own business. So what he's doing, he's doing the finance. I think uh, maybe something uh, with uh, Chinese investor his investment in Korea or maybe changing the currency. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, but he's working for himself. And I know quite a few people who do this. I know some po Polish guy. Uh, he's doing the videos and then he helps the Polish people here to find the factories, to find the product, to check the quality. And he's also working for himself. Me, I'm doing the wine. I'm not so successful with it, but I still can make a little bit extra money. So, uh, uh, and this is good. I can sell it uh, thanks to my wife also. Uh, I still don't make enough money, but I can have this and I can also do uh, my work as a teacher. So it's something you need in China to, uh, to find ways to make extra money. And uh, as I would suggest here um, to, to work for yourself. You come here, you have some ideas, you, you analyze a lot, you check that you don't need to invest too much money and then you start it. That's how it is. Uh, recently I, I found out there are some people here in Changsha, they organize some uh, English corner. So what they will do, they organize the English corner, then they get the money for themselves inside some coffee place, then they get a percentage for themselves. So uh, the Chinese who comes to the coffee club place, to the English corner, they must buy uh, one drink. And then um, a part of the money goes to the organizer of the English corner. It's quite easy, in fact. It's just like networking, you see? Like if I have many viewers, I tell you just, uh, uh, let's meet, let's all go to this coffee bar. And then I get a percentage of what they sell, you know? Uh, and I calculate it just this way. Uh, these guys, they probably can make a salary, 4,000 a, uh, a month, just like this, you know, because they have been doing this for a few years and you have, a, you have a, their English corner is known, many, many people know it, they go there and then, um, and that's how it is, so you know, you need to find ways, you need to find ways. So I hope this video is, is, uh, can, uh, can help you and uh, if you have uh, any question, just uh, tell me, uh, in, ask me in the comment section. And thank you again for watching, I will leave you 
Uh, I will talk to you next time. Take care, everyone. See you soon.